Isang masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa magre-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating alive program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS program at FED tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes Mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and SPED learners. Aside from answering the modules, The Itulay is offering programs which we will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulay will bridge the gap where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to the fourth session of 21st Century Literature from the Philippines and the world where your stories come to life. Now, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me on this rainy and cold day. Uh, still, I'm giving my warm greeting to everyone, making sure that you're in your seats, just relax and enjoy the session today. So, first of which, um, tayo ay live na napapanood sa ating mga official Facebook pages, DepEd tayo, DepEd EdTech Unit, DepEd E2Li, and of course, our official YouTube accounts, DepEd Philippines, DepEd EdTech, and DepEd TV. So, sa mga kaka-join lang po, please, please make sure to drop some heart emojis or any reaction and hit the share button so you can Uh, distribute this very uh, live feed, okay, or this video to your live feed and make sure there are more people who will be coming in this afternoon. So, si Tutor Joyce, she'll be joining us next week kasi medyo may problema sa weather disturbances, but rest assured she'll be joining us in the next few weeks. At, eto po, um, I just wanted to greet some people na, wow, Shimmer, Rafa, thank you po. Dapat may rest din kayo araw ng kaguruan. And dahil dyan, I would like to warmly greet all the teachers 
virtual mentors who have been an amazing part of my life, not just at this very moment, but even when I was younger, elementary, down to college. So thank you, thank you. for Happy Teacher's Day. Donessa Alimon Desiree, happy Teacher's Day, everyone. Thank you for this tutorial. And thank you also for joining me today. So happy Teacher's Day po sa lahat-lahat po ng kasali natin at Number one ko pong i-greet yung mother ko po. Siya po yung naging unang guro ko. So ma, if you're watching, thank you, thank you for making me the person that I am today. So enough na po tayo sa kaka-greet natin sa mga teachers kasi alam ko may kanya-kanya po tayo mga celebrations yan sa online or sa schools natin or division, even region. Ngayon naman, gusto ko pong i-acknowledge yung mga literary enthusiasts of the week. So, sino-sino sino yung mga batang to? Well, these are the kids who have been excelling, who have been participating in the lessons that we have in 21st Century Lit in the past few sessions. So, I'd like to congratulate Shira Eris, Heaven Gray Stan, and of course, Joseph Conrad Bulaklak, who is always tuned in to our session at every week talaga, meron siyang napopost tagging all the tutors. So thank you, thank you for the three of you and I hope to see more of you in the next few sessions. Now, let's begin to um, the second part of our session and that's a quick recap of the previous things that we've discussed last time. So let's make it quick. Definitely, we're talking about the different representative texts and corresponding authors from the different regions. So, ngayon naman, continuation tayo. Okay? At dahil dyan, recap lang po tayo ng mga lesson objectives natin last time that we'll still be applying for this session. First of all, recognize the texts and authors from the regions, which we are able to do from regions 1 until 4A last, uh, rather, Region 3 last time, okay? And today, we'll be continuing to value the importance of knowing our local authors and their work. So, kakasama ko kayo this afternoon at tulong-tulungan niyo lang po ako sa pagsagot ng mga konting mga pa-trivia later, okay? And because of that, let's begin our formal lesson, okay? So, let's begin with Okay, let's begin ko, no? Okay, let's proceed with the literature concept of the week. So the literature concept of the week is the word perspective. Now, what does the word perspective mean? Definitely, that's a noun, okay? Now, the word perspective means a way of thinking about and understanding something. At usually, yung iniintindi natin, yung in understand natin yung iniisip natin na something na yan it could be a, a certain work of a person maybe some issues in the society and life in general and usually you use this word okay ganito usually yung mga ginagamit nating sentences he help us see the problem from a new perspective or a new point of view. Oh, di ba? Ang ganda. A new ang angle. And every time we learn, we always have to make sure na meron tayong baong perspective, bagong perspective, at i-welcome din natin yung bagong perspective na natutunan natin or nalulearn natin from others. Second, okay, it can also mean our ability to understand which things are truly important and which things are not. So, eto, we're trying to weigh things. Kung eto ba, relevant ba sa akin? Is it giving significance in my life or day-to-day -day work or study? Or baka naman hindi. So, Usually, we use this one. Ito yung mga sample line, ha? I was trying to gain some perspective on the things that I learned in senior high school. Or I was deciding which things were important and which things were not. Pareho lang po yun. That's all about perspective. So, sana um, we'll apply all the things that we need, which we deem important, which we deem uh, significant or valuable sa atin at alam na alam natin titingnan lahat ng bagay from different perspective. Hindi agad-agad tayo mag-jump into a conclusion without checking the perspective of others. So, magandang way yan para mas maging fair tayo sa judgment natin towards decisions, towards people, and whatever actions that we tend to do or we tend to use 
as um got to combat all our problems in day-to-day life. Wow, may pa-value integration si Ms. Floy ngayon. So why not? Okay. Next one. Ito naman, uh, wala tayong pa-review game kasi continuation siya ngayon. Mamaya, madami tayong review game. So, stay put lang po tayo. Ha? So, ayun po. Uh, ito naman, we'll be continuing the different text or end authors from the different regions. Starting with Region 4A, Calabarzon. So, anong meron sa Calabarzon? Uh, Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, Rizal, Quezon's. Quezon and Lucena City, these are all part of Region 4A. At makikita natin may church, may payong, malamang nasa White Beach yan, and of course, our ever-famous Taal Volcano. So yun yung mga, just few of the most prominent areas or points or tourist spots or mga areas na pinupuntahan pag nasa Calabarzon tayo. Okay? So tingnan natin kung anong meron pa sa Calabarzon. Sino kayo pinaka-prominent dito? Malamang kilala natin. In fact, we discussed a little bit of him last week or two weeks ago. Our national hero, Dr. Jose P. Rizal, is coming from this region. And hindi natin makakalimutan yung mga uh, major contribution niya, No Limitangre and El Filibusterismo. But apart from our national hero, we still have other other writers out there. At tingnan natin kung makikilala natin sila. So, etong portion na to, gusto kong um, i-guess nyo. Guess the character. Um, I'm going to flash any symbol or object at isipin nyo kung aling mga comic character or famous Filipino characters pwedeng sa comics, on TV, na nare-remind kayo. Okay, so I hope you're ready. Tingnan natin kung ready ba yung mga students natin today. Oh, jeez. Kahit konti po tayo, okay lang po yan. Kasi next time po na mas available po yung mga kapwa nating students and uh, guro po, makaka-recap po sila sa lahat ng makakover natin today. Oo. Intindihin natin kasi Teacher's Day. Daming celebration. So, here's the first one. Ano kaya to? Babae, and then nakaganon yung kamay, and it's portraying to us, strengths. Ah, parang ano ah, parang yung clue na mabibigay ko dito, parang pwede yung tao, parang superhero. So, sino kaya to? Can I get some answers? Type in your answers. Tingnan natin kung meron kayong kilalang parang superhero na babae na very famous dito sa Philippine literature or paging part ng Philippine lit. Tingnan natin. Tingnan nga. Sino kaya yung makakasagot? Ako po. Tingnan natin kung makakasagot si Joseph and all the rest of our friends. Tingnan natin. Okay. Ako po. Parang nag-iisip sila. Ang dami kasi, no? Yes, madami. So, uh, while waiting for the answers, I think, uh, bigyan ko na kayo ng clue. Usually po, naka-red siya. We usually see her wearing a red outfit and um, siya yung um, epitome of goodwill, service, integrity, and of course, bravery. So, sino kaya to? Flash ko ha, kung sino ha, para may idea kaya sa susunod na characters. And that is Darna. Nako po. So, nakita natin si Darna as one of the most famous characters in the the world of comics kasi uh, she starts out as a very humble woman. Uh, talagang nakaano lang siya. Yung parang just your regular woman on a day-to-day basis. Kaso, pag nakita niyang someone is in danger or someone needs help, agad-agad siya nagbibigay siya ng um, tulong. Okay? So, kahit fictional yan, meron tayong mga modern-day Darna. Yung mga modern-day Darna natin, yung mga tita natin, yung mga moms natin, lola natin, and even our teachers. Okay? So, next character. Tingnan natin. Wow, may patil. So, sino kaya to? Darna. Thank you, Joseph. So, sino kaya to? So, my tail, tapos my scale. So, sino or ano? So, ano kaya to? Hmm. Um, clue ko para siyang si Ariel ng Walt Disney. So, sino kaya to? Sino kaya yung parang counterpart natin dito sa Philippines? Tingnan natin. Ay, nako po. Mahihain masyado yung mga audience natin ngayon, ha? Anyway, 
uh, going once, going twice. Tignan natin kung may sagot. And thrice. So, there you go. Tignan natin yung sagot. And of course, we have the character Jezebel. So, uh, kahit meron tayong a Little Mermaid na kilalang kilala sa buong mundo, meron din tayong localized version which is Jezebel. So, similar plot lines, yes, pero ang maganda kay Jezebel uh, sa end natin sa Philippines, uh, madami siya. Parang, parang mga manga din natin kung sa anime side man lang. Uh, madami siyang episodes, okay? So, maraming edition, kumbaga. And very Filipino yung mga experience na nakikita natin. So, mga encounters or stories, kumbaga. The next one is this one. Superpower. Sobrang lakas na lakas na lakas na character. So, kung meron tayong uh, Darna a while back, so who could this be? Uh, usually, uh, you always uh, see this equipment in the gym. And then when that character pulls that and raises it upward, definitely the person transforms. So, sino kaya to? Another strong figure in Philippine lit. Okay, tingnan natin kung sino to. And the answer is Captain Barbell. So, Yung barbell, yung nagita natin, yung ginagano ng mga usually boys or hindi lang boys pala kahit si Heidelin Diaz. She is one of those uh, persons or yung parang masasabi nating representatives na nagbigay ng tangal sa Pilipinas kasi nanalo siya sa weightlifting. So yun, mga barbell. So Captain Barbell, yan. So bakit ko pinapakita yung mga characters na to? It's very simple. Kasi in 4A, region 4A, and dito naka, na-born sa Tanza Cavite specifically, ang isang Filipino graphic novelist na ang ganda-ganda ng mga ideas when it comes to local superheroes. And let me introduce him to you guys. He is Mars Ravelo. So eto, so ang galing ni Mars Ravelo. What are his other works? Well, Mars Ravelo's works are a handful. Uh, Lastic Man, Varga, Wanted, Perfect Mother, Buhay Pilipino. So, uh, ang maganda kasi dito, bakit inspiration ni Mars Ravilo? Kung titingnan kasi nating mabuti, there's a touch of reality when it comes to these superheroes. And kahit hindi superhero, kahit superhuman, uh, parang, may, parang may superhuman powers yung pagmamahal at pag-aaruga ng ating mothers, kapwa Pilipino. Okay, so... Uh, Meron kasing kiliti, kumbaga, when we try to go over these different stories, inspiring us na kahit parang matatalo na tayo ng villain, we're always going on and on and on kasi kaya nating uh, bumangon from any challenges. So, brilliant Mars Ravilo. And sa sobrang brilliant niya, nakikita nga natin na most of his characters come to life and become and we see them on big screen so nakita na natin sa mga local movies natin next one we have bienvenido lumbera so sino si sir bienvenido lumbera so lumbera rather he's a filipino poet a critic and a dramatist so maganda to kasi hindi lahat ng poets uh ganun ka specialty nila yung pagsusulat ng drama but this author, he's able to juggle both. So, ang ganda. And ang na- He was able to garner a lot of awards during uh, his time, yung prime na prime niya. He was able to receive the Ramon Magsaysay Award for Journalism, Literature, and Creative Communication. Um, he also was awarded the National Book Awards from the National Book Foundation and the Carlos Palanca Memorial Award. So, ganun kagaling. And his famous works, Kabel, Dayaya's Lullaby, Servant, Sadness, Magic, Eulogy of Roche. So, don't worry, kasi sa mga next few session natin, hopefully, hopefully, we can include one of his pieces, brilliant pieces, and tingnan natin kung paano natin i-critic yung work niya. Kasi, critic siya. Try natin i-learn yung mga techniques din niya ng pagkikritik ng works. Alright. Next. So, here's another. Okay. So, born in Paete, Laguna, we have Frank G. Rivera. 
So what's so special about this author? Well, siya lang naman yung nagpopularize ng textula. Or in other words, this is the makata sa cell phone or um, yung mga series or SMS poems um, or tula in short, tapos sinisend via text, binabasa via text. We also respond to via text. Okay? So, uso na yan ngayon. Actually, um, little do you know, yung mga, uh, mga ibang parents natin or maybe siblings, if others sa kanila, usong-uso yung sa time nila na uh, they go and get a, an envelope and even a paper or specialty paper stationery then they write things down kasi uh, sinisend nila yung love parang sinusulat nila yung mga words of love expression via letters yung iba naman medyo modern modern na po meron ng mga cell phones meron ng mga computers they opt to use the text to la malay nyo gumagawa na pala kayo ng mga text to la okay next uh of course, uh, ang dami-dami din yung awards in the Garner. Three Palanca Memorial Awards for the Literature. Four National Book Awards. Aliyo, Gawad, CCP, and NCCA Awards. So, ang dami. And ang maganda dito, eto to ha? Kasi he's also someone who is um, involved in the institution or th- tertiary education. Siya yung naging founder ng Sining Kambayoka. It's a Flourishing Theater Movement at Mindanao State University. At sa sobrang inspired niya sa arts, he even made uh, this poem explaining his love for the arts and theater in particular. So, eto yan. Apat na dekada na ang nakalipas ng pagtagpuin ang ating mga landas. Sa lumang kultura at limot na palabas na ating nilinang kaya't di kumupas. So, oh, interesting. Sa Mindanao State University nga, doon sa Marawi sa tabi ng lawa, di lang edukasyon itong kumalinga sa nalikhang sining tayo'y pinalaya. Oh, see? So, very rich use of words. Sa pagsilang nitong sining kambayoka, di lamang MSU or man. Mindanao State University, itong nakilala tradisyong maranao, sining at kultura, katutubong bayok ang ibinandila. So, see, um, even the simple founding of this theater movement, hindi lang siya yung tipong, ay, gagawa tayong theater movement or theater, produce sign in different place. At yun na yun. The person is so inspired with with the thing that he is organizing or with the play that place that he are organizing to the point na pati siya, nilagay na din niya. Naging inspiration na din niya sa writing. Naging muse niya sa writing. So, here are the rest of the lines. And once you get a copy of this PowerPoint, feel free to go over uh, this beautiful excerpt from Sining Kambayoka, the Makata sa cell phone. So, there. Next. Quick interpretation na sabi ko na. <laughs> Ang cute. Okay. Now, here are the published and unpublished works of our dear Frank Rivera. So, there you go. Ang dami, di ba? Ang kaling. Next, okay, from Region 4A, natapos na tayo. Um, let's proceed to Region 4B, Mimaropa. So, ano-ano yung mga kasama ng Mimaropa? So, kung mas rumarami na yung sumasali this afternoon, please type in the different provinces that fall under Mimaropa. So, tingnan natin. Okay. So, while you're at it, okay, tingnan natin kung meron pang ano. So, eto. Si NVM Gonzalez or Nestor Vicente Madali Gonzalez is actually one of the most famous um, national artists for literature in the country. Um, halos lahat ng works niya inaaral natin, hindi lang sa senior high school, but much more sa college. Bakit? Kasi the the way he um, composes words, the way he produced fiction novels, short stories, essays, uh, poems even, ang pagka-articulate nila, paano sabihin, paano na-produce in diction per se, it's giving us this warmth na ay, no matter what setup, ma-rural, ma-urban, 
the Filipino spirit is there. The bayanihan is there. The the strength of a Filipino is there. The resilience of a Filipino is there. So ayon ang ganda, di ba? And ang maganda dito pala, um, kasi sa Miss Foy, Region 4B, di ba? Diyan yung Legend of Maragtas. Yes. Uh, Pedro Alcantara's Monteclaro's Legend of Maragtas is here. But uh, apart from that legend na sobrang ganda-ganda na nagbibigay ng story ng uh, anong nangyari dati. Okay? Um, ang maganda dito, NVM Gonzalez and the rest of the writers from this region are really giving us that, um, tawag ito, aesthetic sa lahat ng ginagawa nating uh, text, sa ginagawa nilang text. So, because of that, he was acknowledged just like the rest of the authors in different contests, one of which is the first Commonwealth Literary Contest in 1940, Republic Cultural Heritage Awards in 1960, and Gawad CCP para sa Sining in 1990. So, dako naman tayo sa Region 5, Bicol Region, kung saan usong-uso yung maanghang na pagkain, of course, beautiful, active volcanoes, and the great white sharks, okay? Or the white sharks, per se. So, andito si Potenciano Gregorio Sr. So, sino to? He's a very famous Bicolano composer and musician. And yung pinaka, masasabi kong nakakakilig, nakakainganyo, something that is close to my heart is his composition, Sarung Bangge, or One Evening. It's very famous because it talks about how a person is just going through his or her melody, uh, his melody, or just enjoying the night. Tapos biglang, may bigla siyang nakita. So tingnan natin kung ano kaya yung nakita ni Mr. Potenciano Gregorio Sr. Okay, tingnan natin. Okay. Sarong banggi sa higdaan, nakadangog ako hinunimin. Sarong gamgam. Ay, nako po, baka pagsabi ko nito, pagtawanan ako ng friends ko na, ano, na <laughs> taga uh, ilo-ilo. Pero, let's go over these lines. Read it. Okay. Now, I'll give you a few seconds, around 10 seconds, and in a few, tingnan natin kung ano yung pagkaintindi. So, mga nakakaintindi. One. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, sa mga iba dyan, uh, who couldn't really uh, understand the, the exact words that are here, I'll give you a quick translation. Sana andito sa isang gadget ko. <laughs> uh, here. One evening... In bed I lay, I heard a plaintive song of a bird that spurns the light of day. At first, I thought it was a dream, but soon I knew it was no dream, for it was you. And still half asleep, from my warm, cozy bed did I rise and try the darkness deep to pierce with my straining eyes. Then I looked around. I chanced my eyes to raise and saw in glorious radiance your lovely face. Uh, see? Also, oh, wow. Such a rich set of words being used here. So imagine a guy just spending his night listening to the bird and then contemplating how the day has been. And then suddenly, para siyang ano, uh, parang uh, kung sa Bisaya pa, parang... Uh, gialimungawan, kumbaga, yung parang kakagising mo lang half awake ka, hindi mo alam if uh, what you're seeing is a dream or not. And if you are a fan of K-dramas, um, it's similar to that scene of Reply 1988. I don't know if you've watched that already. So, andyan nakikita natin na parang yung part na si Take, yung uh, master ng Go, Go Master, akala niya nagdi-dream lang siya nakatabi niya yung um, female lead niya, pero andun na pala sa tabi niya natutulog. Oh, di ba? So, ayun. It would be so nice to wake up every day and see the person that you like. And since mga bata pa kayo, syempre, 
paglabas niyo ng gate niyo or papunta kayo ng school or punta sa kanto or tindahan din bigla niyo makita yung mga crush niyo or maybe the mall kung gusto niyo medyo ano na set up different set up well, that would be good kaso so far ngayon since we're still in the pandemic hanggang screen na lang muna tayo makita yung mga love of our lives okay next Visayas so Region 6 Western Visayas is also famous for uh, fishing different Areas such as Aklan, Antique, Capiz, Quimaraz, Iloilo, and Necros Occidental. At yung pinaka-common dito yung love song na Balak. So, it's a song of praise sung by man and woman. Riddles are also here. Proverbs as well. And Graciano Lopez Haina, the very famous person behind La Solidaridad, is part of this region. Pero apart from him, meron din tayong isa. Okay. So this time naman yung female power, Alistan Gonzalez, a Filipino Chinese speaking Hiligaynon at home and she wrote her first short story in Hiligaynon and uh, discover a deep connection with the language in the process and how come? Kasi um, this woman here is one of the most admired Ilongo writers out there. She even... Um, launched a certain book in a simple program and ginamit niya yung parang yung launching niya isa siya sa mga local authors natin na okay na okay siya supportive siya sa mga cocktail type or art gallery type na setup tapos nag nagaano siya nagbo-book signing book launch so sa panahon niya isa siya sa mga commendable na nag-hold ng ganun very efficient ang ganda ng mga galing ng mga organizers din niya and ang maganda din dito she somehow um, makes sure, para talaga yung deep connection with the language is sustained, she made sure that she enrolled in different classes, PhD in English studies even, to make sure na ang ganda-ganda ng mga drama, fiction, and poems na mga produce niya. So, ayun. So, um, ang pinakamagandang character ni Alice, apart from, of course, making sure that she's so good or well-versed with the language and produce pieces that awarded or that made her land the Carlos Palanca Hall of Fame for Literature. Um, yung ano niya, yung stronghold niya sa language, yung gusto niya talagang matuto. Always a room for learning. And of course, yung very famous yung Istoryahan Taka Uli, Kasing Kasing Press, or um, a collection of stories for older children. Istoryahan Taka Uli means I'll, I'll storytell something to you again, okay? Kasing-kasing press, kasing-kasing is heart, okay? So, wow, so that's good. Something that's close to her. So, as she uh, produced different anthologies or stories, she's going to retell it to you. Oh, di ba? Galing. So, next would be Region 7, Central Visayas. So, anong meron sa Central Visayas? Definitely, ang galing magdaming scuba diving spots. In fact, I'm actually from Central Visayas, although I'm staying in Luzon right now for work. Uh, most of my family members are from Central Visayas, others from Mindanao, pero dito talaga ako nag uh, lumaki. Uh, although hindi kayo nagtatanong, pero share ko lang. <laughs> Na um, a lot of things, a lot of tourist spots, the rich culture, um mga animals that are sheer, na sobrang liit, na mas maliit pa siya sa farm pag ilalagay. And of course, our churches, Christianity, ever evident. So, um, what's so special about this place? We were able to produce uh, such well-versed writer or author, the first Cebuano realist writer, kasi yung mga themes niya, real na real. <laughs> we have Marcel M. Navarra. Um, he's the father of modern Cebuano literature and also labeled as the Hemingway of the Binisaya. Okay? Bakit Hemingway? Kasi si Hemingway, yung manner niyang pagsusulat, it's really masculine na masculine. At parang kung pagsusulat niya, alam mong lalaking lalaki, parang meron kang ano ba, parang bang, um, because you're, you're so manly with your writing, we tend to have this adventurous side ng lumulutang sa piece, okay? 
Kasi pag may intense masculinity sa time nila, mahilig talaga ng adventure, mahilig ng, um, ano tawag dito, yung mahilig na mahilig silang ipakita na there's a world out there and since I'm a man, I get to travel and explore those places and I get to write about them. So ayun si Marcel M. Navarra, uh, such an explorer okay, of different themes. We also have Ma- uh, Cecilia Manguera Brainard. So this is Another author coming from Central Visayas and an editor of several books, 19 to be exact. Uh, she became the co-founder of the PAWA or the Philippine American Women Writers and Artists. So, ang galing niya. Um, in fact, uh, konti lang yung nakalagay na, pero not to worry. Uh, yung, ang ganda ng pag-brought up niya nung bata siya. Uh, different, no. Different, she may be traveling in um, different places, pero yung foundation niya at home, it's very good. Um, well, ano din yung family nila. Father is a civil engineer. Mother is coming from a political family. Pero apart from that, ang maganda at pinaka na-impress ako sa lahat ng works sa Cecilia Brainerd would be the several anthologies or works niya, uh, including the World War II novel, uh, Eh, pinaka-famous na work yung Rainbow Goddess Web, Magdalena, Woman with Horns, and other stories. So, kung nakikita natin sa title, we can, we can definitely say na ay, nako po, talagang lahat ng experiences ng mga babae sa panahon niya. Alright? So, let's hop on to Region 8, Eastern Visaya. So, uh, Gladys Kapalad. Opo. Wow. Thank you, Gladys, for still staying with me. Okay. Kahit konti lang tayo ngayon, ramdam na ramdam ko yung warmth kasi andyan kayo kasama ko. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we also have Region 8 Eastern Visayas. So, we have Carlos A. Angeles. Um, waray po to. Naborn po siya sa Tacloban City, Leyte. Ito po yung hometown ng father ko. Hi pa. <laughs> he is a Carlos Palanca Memorial Awardee for literature, specifically poetry. Sobrang galing niya magsulat ng poems. And ang maganda dito kay Carlos A. Angeles, he's giving us this value na um, pag nag-start ka na nag-aral, kahit pa may war na dumating, kahit pa nag ka or stop ka konti sa pag-aaral, there's always a room for learning, Okay. There's always a room for learning. In fact, ang nakakatuwa sa kanya, ay sorry, na-excited si Ms. Roy. Ang nakakatuwa kay Carlos A. Angeles, siya yung tipong, nung nag-world war, nag-stop siya ng pag-aaral. Uh, siya yung tipong, ano, uh, you can see him as one of our friends or family members or relatives na yung tipong, kahit nag-aral ako ng ganitong specialization, I get to explore different establishments. So, ganun siya ka masasabi kong explorer the explorer because not everyone is that confident or comfortable to to transfer sa different na mga uh, establishment. Pero siya, he was a risk taker um, and I believe he is doing that or he was doing that because he's giving the, himself a chance to free him, himself from any burden uh, na parang bakit di ko nagawa to? Okay? Or Parang magandang theme ito ha, sa susulatin ko. Ha. Hi, wait lang. Nandito ako sa establish na to. Why not write about? O, oh, ganun. So, ganun si Carlos A. Angeles. Um, hindi lang siya yung tipong come what may. Siya yung tipong, oh, since andito ako, I'll utilize the time or opportunity that I'm here and make sure I write things about them. So, ang ganda, di ba? So, hindi now tayo. Quick run through. Uh, Region 9, Zamboanga Peninsula. So we have Emig Dio, Meg Alvarez Enriquez. So he's from Zamboanga City, a novelist and a story writer, and his stories won Palanca Awards. At ang maganda dito, yung pinaka-favorite ko, yung White Horse of Ali. Bakit? Because the White Horse of Ali is giving us this, um, tawag neto? He's giving us this setting na iba yung nagiging effect if we feel alienated from a society that we live in, um, if we feel racial discrimination. And pinaka common recently, when we had this virus, may mga ibang Asian who's getting a lot of Asian hate because uh, a lot of people think that we're the ones bringing the, the virus in their in their country. So that shouldn't be the case. So if we're going to read the White Horse of Ali in the future, 
makikita natin na very dominant yung theme na iba yung psychological impact. If we're alienated, if we're, um, if there's a quarrel between religions, so ganun. Um, if there's a parang pinpointing na, ay, ikaw ganito, mayroong stereotyping, so lahat yun. Uh, all those encompass the white horse of Ali. Next is works. Marami siyang novels. Okay. They write, so mga plays. And of course, short stories. So, ang dami. So, very, ano siya, yung mighty, mighty yung pen niya. Gustong gusto niya magsulat often. And we have Region 10, Northern Mindanao. So, we have Damiana L. Eugenio. Um, she is known as the mother of Philippine folklore. Bakit? Kasi, if you notice this one, ang dami pang books na yung iba red yung color nito. Basta an, an anthology. Meaning, a compilation, uh, conservation, publication of numerous legends and folktales. So, lahat yan nakikita natin dito. And usually, if you hit college, you're always asked or required, often required by your instructors to look for different um, legends, folk tales, short stories. And usually, um, when we hit the library, yung etop or e-library in our case, we usually find an anthology very useful. So thank you, um, Damiana El Eugenio, for being a great contributor of the Philippine anthologies. And we have next, ah, ito, ha, yung sunod, we have Region 11, Davao Region. Okay? Born in Sulu, we have Ida Rivera Ford, first editor of Sands and Coral, the Siliman University's Literary Folio. And her famous work, Love in the Corn Husk. We'll be talking about that very soon. So, antabay lang po. We also have Candy Guarley, um, award-winning Filipino author in UK. And these are her major works, Stroll Story, Shine, Animal Trickster. So, magita natin yung setup niya more on a 21st century lit talaga yung mga themes niya. And uh, if you get across one of my episodes in reading and writing in the in the second quarter, we can see, we will be tackling about tall story. So, uh, antabayan yun. Uh, just go ahead and witness that uh, episode very soon. Next would be Region 12, Sok Sargent. Malapit na tayong matapos, don't worry. Uh, we have Bartolome del Valle. So this young lad here is a poet and a teacher. And kahit hindi ganun ka dami yung mga works na sinulat niya, ang pagkakalam ko naging principal pa nga ata to si Sir Bartolome del Valle. He was the author of the epic in the Rapatra at Sulaiman. Oh, jeez, that's a pretty long piece. So, uh, syempre, this is one of the major epics that uh, that is quite famous or that are quite famous rather in the country. So, uh, let's wait for a soon session as we discuss that epic of Del Valle. Okay? And we have Region 13, Caraga Administrative Region. We have Sir E. Arsenio Manuel or Espiridion Arsenio Manuel. His very famous piece is Tuang Attends a Wedding. And he is known as the Ama ng Makabagong Pag-aaral ng Folklore ng Pilipinas or Philippine Folklore. Okay? And finally, the BARMM or Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. So, ayan po, we have Stephen Prince Patrick C. Fernandez. During his time, siya lang po yung sa buong country, buong Philippines, sa time niya, he was able to garner a do doctorate degree in creative writing. So, ang wow, hands down. And he is very famous uh, for winning the Carlos Palanca Literary Contest, a one-act play. So, yung plays usually madami siyang acts or portions. Siya, pag one-act play, isa lang na portion and then you get to lengthen that one act. Okay, so we'll talk about one act place very soon. So perhaps you can come across um, Stephen Fernandez's works very soon. Okay, and this time, okay, since we have um, time check lang, 44 minutes and 33 seconds tayo. Um, ito naman, uh, who am I? So isa lang akong example kasi mas maganda kung maraming audience. So in the next meeting, we'll have this one. I'm going to give you some lines. 
and then you are going to either you are going to name the person behind that line pero syempre hindi muna ngayon kasi medyo um, ayoko mag overtime tayo at the same time mas gusto ko kung maraming maraming marami yung mga audience natin okay so i'd like to just leave this um very simple uh very simple uh sorry about that very simple uh how do i say this very simple lesson to everyone uh, as we learn the different authors okay of the different regions and their works um be like them uh, make sure that you're someone who explore beyond the required academic um readings uh go for a lot of suggested readings explore Write as much as you can. Kung feeling nyo meron kayong naisip, write them down. They don't have to be in major sentences and ano, wag mawala ng pag-asa. Sulat lang ng sulat. And you'd be surprised one day you've written like as thick as this. Okay? And sana um, as we get to learn these authors and their future um, works very soon, sana alalahanin natin na as we go through the different regions as we try to learn history literature will always be there and i guess it's about time that you also produce your own literature eh? with us of course with us tutor floy and tutor joyce and just a sneak peek in next week so next week naman review lang tayo sa parts one and two of the different texts and authors from each region and we'll be covering eto na application na po tayo literary approaches so join us next week shooter floy and shooter joyce uh you may of course give in your feedback thank you po scan lang po natin and please 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 join us in the next session or meeting of dep ed e2 live so tune in lamang sa mga pages natin official pages and make sure that together we'll have to Make sure that our stories come to life. And please stay, tune in for Reading and Writing with um, Sir Jess and Mam Zen and Creative Writing with Sir Kit and Sir Jerry. So thank you everyone for joining me today. Have a great day and happy Teacher's Day to all my fellow mentors and educators. Thank you, thank you po. Have a great day. Take care everyone. Bye-bye. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!